how, how was, I mean, he said that you were one of the guys that were provided some moral support for him when he was going through all that. Can you talk, just talk about that process? Yeah, it went from him being at my wedding the, that weekend and the following Monday, him finding out that he had cancer. And it crushed me as a friend, as a teammate. You never see, want to see a guy that go through something like that because the guy has been working his tail off for two years. His first year, he got put on hour for being hurt. And he, he, he fought back from that. Then he was playing well again. And this happens. It was like everything, all the highs and the low. And we wanted to make sure as a, a teammate, as a friend, we were there for him from bringing him food to we make sure, hey, if his wife to his family, if nobody was there, we'd make sure somebody was there for him in his hotel. And those nights when he'd come to Thanksgiving, come to Christmas with my family. Um, and last year when he got here, he got here, he ate Thanksgiving with us. And we want to make sure, hey, he's, he's my brother. He's a part of our family. Was the contract extension something that had been talked about for a while or did it sort of happen pretty quickly? And um, so. I'm glad it's done, and <laughs> I'm happy to be here. And it's a blessing, and it's just I love this team. I love what we have going on here, um, upper management to coaches, and I wanted to be a part of it. How ready to get the season going? This is what you work for all off season, all the camp, and you finally you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Like this is what we've been working for, and now we get to go against somebody else, and we're we're looking forward to it. What's been the challenge then, just over the last six weeks of building the cohesion with the yeah, definitely. That's what camp's for in the off season. that you're able to work with different guys throughout camp, so you're able to adjust, and so when anything gets thrown at you during the season, you're able to adapt and move on. Where are you guys at now, and is there still, you know, I mean, first game together, you've learned to adapt even more, right? Right. Every game, you get more and more used to playing by the guys beside you, but um, we got to be the most prepared as an offensive line and offense when it comes to Sunday, so this week. We go out there and grind and put as much as we can into this game plan. I think you guys are prepared to do it without Taylor, especially starting this week against the challenge the Browns provide. Um, we're gonna go out there and execute as an offense, and we got a great coaching staff, and we got guys here who have been working their tail off all camp. So we're looking forward to this challenge, and we're getting ready for it. It's been personally hard for you to see Corey go. Yeah, definitely. He works his tail off, and he's got a good opportunity there, and we wish him the best. And you never, as a, as an offensive lineman. You want somebody to get another opportunity, and he did. And that's the thing. The way we work and the way we practice and the way we play in games, we he had that opportunity, and he played well, and, and he's, he's getting his shot somewhere else. How much is that interior part of the pocket clean so Marks can step up and you know, manipulate the pocket when he's do? Definitely. Um, that's definitely what we're, we're trying to keep him clean at all spots so he's able to step up and move around, and that's our goal as an offensive line is having a good pocket for him. Does that kind of come into the forefront uh, he's a good player, and they got a lot of good guys on that team. And we know what our challenges is this week, and we're looking forward to it. And we know on third down we gotta we gotta bring a big boy pants. Talk about all the guys they have on their team. They got a lot of hype this offseason. What do you think about that? They have a great team, and they have a lot of good players on that team. So we gotta come out there and be prepared, and we gotta open up every stone and make sure we're prepared and able to go out there and execute. How much pride do you take in? The fact that you haven't missed a game, you know, you're a guy who can show up every week and play. Uh, that's my role in this offensive line. Uh, make calls, and I'm here. And as long as you're able to play and at a high level, no matter if you're hurt or not, um, that's how you last in this league. Because you're always hurt in this league, and you're always banged up, and it's just how you perform when you're doing that. Have there been times when it's been close uh, that you thought maybe I'm not going to make, make it out there on Sunday? It's been some hairy moments, but um, <laughs> I don't want to let my teammates down and. If it's something I can go through, no matter what, I'm going to be out there for them.